What is going on guys, this is Clutch once again with another Manager Mode episode, as I promised I'm continuing those daily uploads, first match of the day we are against Mirandes, I'm going to get straight into this game, looking to um, get another win on the trot because we are on an absolute roll, um, I think we've won the last three games by scoring three goals or more, and Marvel Sordell gets us off to a nice start with a nice goal in the 30th, 35th minute. Uh, decent finesse into the corner, so we're going to push on, look for some more goals. Fabinho picks up the ball, finding one for. I'm going to look to play some nice passes around because I love my my nice fast passing football. Um, managed to win a, a corner from a Jesse Rodriguez effort, and Gabriel is going to whip this in, and I'm going to be looking for the stars that try even Gonzalez, and what a header that was. Hits, heads it down into the ground. It was a bit lacking in power, but it still managed to beat the keeper, so I'm not going to complain. We are 2-0 up, and we're going to look to push for a third goal in a fourth successive game. Um, so Sordell cuts back, puts in a great cross, and Jesse Rodriguez, oh my days, what a finish. Um, so we are on a roll, another 3-0 three, three win. Um, we are scoring goals for fun right now, and I'm absolutely loving it. But unfortunately, Villarreal and Sporting Gihon keep putting on the pressure. They won their games as well. Um, next game is against Alcorcon. They lost the last two games, but they won the one before that. So they've, they're in kind of lacking form, and I'm going to look to try and take advantage of that. Um, neither Sporting Gihon or Villarreal were playing um, this this um, day. So I, I think either they were playing the next day against each other or playing against another t another club but neither of them played on this day so I had a chance to take the top spot on the table and I was definitely not going to pass up that opportunity again um, because I passed it up quite a few times and I didn't want to do that again so Adrian gets puts in a nice ball there and Lucas heads it for what is probably our second header of the season I don't really score that many headers um, with this team because I don't really have guys that head, head the ball very well so um, that is not really going to happen and Adrian gets a bit lucky there when the defender kind of messes up his clearance and he takes advantage of that and slots it home nicely which is what you would you would expect from a clinical finisher as himself um, but we're going to push on looking for more goals as usual Adrian is getting absolutely bullied and he gets brought down by the defender who gets a yellow card for his troubles I believe which referee will brandish in a minute yes he does so he gets a yellow card and also gives away a penalty and we are looking to get another another goal which would make it the fifth game on a trot with a 3-0 win well with scoring three goals I believe so hopefully Adrian can slot this away and of course he can Adrian is clinical he does not miss from the penalty spot He's, he maintains his 100% record from the spot um, for the season and I don't see that see that stopping um, but unfortunately we didn't manage to get another clean sheet uh, Alcorcon managed to pull back a consolation goal at the in the last minute so unfortunately um, Jesus didn't get a clean sheet but as you can see as I said we managed to take the top spot for, for a brief while Villarreal and Gihon still have to play their games so that may change but I, also Clubs are cir circling like sharks with Cherishev. I thought this was dead and buried, that he was going to stay and he was just going to settle and play and like focus on his game at our club. But apparently not. Clubs are still circling for him and they want him at the team. So that story carries on. Um, the final game of this episode is against Guadalajara. We played them in the Spanish Cup three episodes ago and it was a six goal thriller that went to penalties and we eventually won that to go through to the next round who we consequently played against Resin San Ander. Actually no, we didn't play against them. I forgot who we played against but right here you see the BS that is that um, full, black, full back glitch. Um, my left back was miles out of position playing their attacker on and then they got a bit of a BS goal so I am 1-0 down against Guadalajara again for the second time in the season Guadalajara no joke when I play against them but Jesse Rodriguez what a hit that was picked that out of the back of the net um, I absolutely love Jesse Rodriguez left foot right foot he scores the goals he's, he's the perfect winger for me he is basically the Ronaldo of my team because he's our left winger and he he's got the skills and the goals um, had a bit of a cheeky shot there with Adrian don't don't manage to get it but um, 
what I won the corner, which is the main thing. And Ivan Gonzalez, for the second time in this episode, scores a goal. I think those are the only two two goals he scored all season. And right there, I get a bit of luck from the referee. The referee's playing on my side a bit. Lucas loses the ball, but um, wins it back. Sordo plays a lovely ball back to him. And what one another great finish on the half volley from Lucas. So once again, we have scored three goals, and I am more than happy. Um, we win that three one, and that is three another three wins on the board for us. So another nine points in this episode. I'm more than happy with my team. I'm absolutely ecstatic with how it's going. Apart from the fact that Villarreal and Gihon won't let up. They both won their, their um, matches as well. And once again, Nastasic is out for another three weeks, so that is a major bummer. Um, our captain is out for another three weeks, so I'm going to have to rotate my squad once again. Um, put Mateos in the lineup and swap Nastasic for Derek, I believe, because Derek um, is a bit of a complainer and he loves to be on the bench at least. So I love to keep my squad happy, so that's why I put him in. Also I have to change my captain this time to Ivan Gonzalez because he's an absolute beast and he has been at the club for a while. So as you can see from our schedule we have two more league games and a cup game um, against Zaragoza who I said was Racing Santander before but it's actually Zaragoza um, the second leg. Uh, the first leg we won 3-0 so we're going to look to try and win that and make it through to the next round. But we have three more games before the transfer window opens uh, where I'll look to do some business which my, with my minimum budget. But even though it is kind of short, I'm going to look to stretch it as much as possible and get as many good deals as I can. But as I was saying, um, that was the end of the episode. Thanks for watching once again, guys. It has been Clutch. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new. And also share it with your friends if you enjoyed it that much. But until next time, until tomorrow actually, it's been Clutch. Peace.